kingdom of the planet of the apes is set hundreds of years after the events of war for the planet of the apes. Now, before I get into my giant kind of negative ish, I do want to speculate on a positive of the movie that I really did enjoy. This movie looks visually stunning. I mean, these are some of the best CGI and VFX effects I've seen for this franchise. Now, that's not taking away the reboot trilogy of Rise, Dawn, and War, because those looked amazing as well, but they really knocked this one out of the park in the visual departments. The apes' mouth and facial features looked absolutely stunning this time around. The atmosphere itself, the trees, the lakes, the skies, the forest, for that matter, looked incredible. I believe those th visuals alone are going to get nominated for an Oscar, I believe. And the music wasn't too terrible in this film. Now, the soundtrack for these movies aren't really anything to gush over about anyways. So that's a mild positive. Now... My biggest negatives for this movie is I feel, this is my opinion, that the story in this particular movie is really, really weak. I feel it's the weakest out of the four. I, had to say, I hate to say this, I think it's even weaker than Wars. And that wasn't really great either. <laughs> I applaud them for what they were trying to do by trying to tell an entire new story for this movie, seeing as this takes place so many years after the event of Caesar's story. But that's where all these plot holes come into effect for me. There's so much, like, missing sections for the Caesar story, and when they are trying to catch you up with Caesar's story, you got, on one hand, half of a Caesar story, and then you got another half of another part of Caesar's story that they're trying to, like, battle it out to try to tell you on which sides of these apes are trying to go with what they believe is Caesar's story. Mild spoiler there. Mild spoiler. I do like the... Oh, I do... For, I have a couple more positives. Sorry. I do like the Eagle Clan. I thought that was really fleshed out. I also like Noah. I like his character in this film. I think he's going to be really, really fleshed out for the next two movies. And I also enjoyed the Orangutan... In this movie as well. Sorry. His name was Raka. Raka was really funny in this one. Also another. I guess positive is I actually did like. Kevin Durand as. Prax. Prox. Mias Caesar. I'm pretty sure I butched that. But yeah back to some of the negatives. Other than the story being weak. I couldn't really. They made the humans look really, really dumb in this movie. Like, all the human characters were just not enjoyable in this film. I could have cared less about May, And overall, that third act... And that third act twist... I thought was done really stupidly. And the third act basically sets up a larger, big, bigger picture... For the next two set of these movies. Because I'm sure we're going to get two more movies. I'm sure this is going to hit very well with some people. Or it's going to not hit very well with some people. Depending on who you are. But for me. I walked out of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. With 
it's just an it's just a good movie. It's not great. It's not spectacular. It's just good. So overall, I think I'm gonna give Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. A solid 7. It's a 7. So there you go, guys. That is my review of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, I could really, really use this. Would you please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel? And let me know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? Did you agree with my opinion? Did you agree, disagree with my opinion? Let me know. And I will link... I will link my Rise and my War reviews over there. Until the next one, guys. Peace.